155 years after welcoming its first visitor, the National Aquarium has closed its doors for the last time. The Oceanic Museum has to move out of its current location in the Department of Commerce basement so the building can be renovated this spring. Kevin Lewis shares us the uncertainty and disappointment. It's very sad. I really enjoy visiting places like this. 200,000 visitors walked. It's very close to home. These halls last year. So I knew I had to get up this morning. Retired D.C. school teacher Letitia Westray was one of them. You learn more from your environment than you do from books. Books help. Books are important, but <laughs> we need to see things in reality. 2,500 real creatures, 70%, including this electric eel, will soon be shipped to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. Most of the others will be housed at other U.S. aquariums. The two American alligators, however, will now call a Louisiana swamp home. You know, it's, it's a somber occasion for us. These big looking fish. The aquarium has 20 employees. Some, like the animals, will be transferred to Baltimore. Others won't be as lucky. We certainly have put a lot of, you know, a lot of work into the aquarium here over the over the years, and um, you know, it's it's uh, it's definitely sad for us to see it go. The board has hired consultants to look at rebuilding options, but there is a chance this hidden gem could erode from the D.C. landscape for good. It would be tragic if we started closing museums or, especially in Washington, charging um, big entry fees. Now, come March, construction crews will begin tearing out these tanks, working on this entire area. This hall that's seen so much tourism for so many years, now to be a pedestrian tunnel linking the Hoover Building to the Ronald Reagan Building across the street. In D.C., I'm Kevin Lewis, News Channel 8.